So team, over the next six, seven days, we're gonna be vlogging, documenting a little trip to LA. I've been very fortunate to be invited by rain um, to Venice Beach. There's gonna be, I think, 16 competition winners from across Europe um, and across the world flying in to LA to meet myself, Kai Green, Eva Marie, and I think a couple of other rain athletes um, who have far bigger followings than myself. I'm looking forward to uh, meeting everyone on the trip, we're gonna document it. We're gonna try and release a daily vlog. This is obviously episode one. We're in the airport, it's a travel day. We've just finished some eggs, mushrooms and salmon. Um, it's a long flight. But yeah, I'll see you in LA. Hey team, welcome officially to day one in LA. So we traveled all day yesterday. Uh, flight was fairly comfortable. Sam is scared of flying, so I had to hold his hand at parts, but uh, we landed safe and sound. Um, got from the airport to our place where we're staying. We're just, I think on like 4th Street in Santa Monica. Checked out Venice, took Sam down there. Nice and cool, nice and chilled. Then we grabbed some food and got an early night. I say early night, we then, well I was awake since 2.30 because we are eight hours behind you guys in the UK. So it's gonna take a little bit of time getting used to. It's now 8.30 here. This is officially day one. Um, we're gonna go find somewhere to train. Today's a bit of a free day before we catch up with the rest of the team at rain because that is why I'm here in LA. Uh, there's been a rain competition to train with some of the rain athletes, myself and one of the others from Europe, and then some of the bigger USA, uh, US athletes. Um, so that's gonna take place from tomorrow through to the weekend. Today's a free day. We're just gonna hang around LA, check the place out. I'll show Sam some familiar places that I, um, I used to hang out when I was living here about six, seven years ago. So follow us around for the day. Should be pretty cool. Trader Joe's. Always scope, the two things you scope out whenever you're traveling is one, where's the gyms at? And two, supermarkets. So you can stock up on all the good stuff. Get some snacks in the bag so you don't get caught short. Stacking in here, look at that. Everything's... That's the other thing about traveling as well. You always find them hidden gems. Why is it the UK just has budget, limited variety and all the good shit? Whereas it comes to America, Everything. Walking around like kids in candy. So we are at um, Amp Association. Someone called Patrick very kindly reached out to me on Instagram and said, whilst you're in town, come check out Amp Association. So long story short, we've walked here. I believe the owner knows that I'm dropping into train. The gym is open. I think there's a couple of members inside, but there's no members of staff to be seen. So we feel somewhat as if we're trespassing, but I think we're gonna get the session done anyway. If someone does turn up and we're doing something wrong, then we'll work it out as we go. But I think we're allowed. I think we're invited. Um, I'm going to get my upper body session done. A little bit of uh, elbow rehab to start with, and then some upper body, and then finishing with a bit of a Metcon to finish. So, let's get it done.
lively. Workout done. Shout out Amp Association for letting us, albeit we didn't really get permission, train outside their gym. What a wonderful space. It is very hot though. So that conditioning is pretty tough. Pretty much a one-to-one -one rest to work ratio. 20 cal row, seven power cleans at 60, 62 I think with the American conversions. 16 front rack reverse lunges, five burpees over the bar, four rounds, go every five minutes. I was averaging just under 230 per round. Job done, see you in a bit. So gym done. Once again, thank you very much to Amp Association. Big up Leah as well, we met one of the coaches and she did say it was cool, so awesome work, Jim Dunn, it's very hot. Uh, we're gonna now head back to Santa Monica. Sweet Greens is the uh, lunch of choice uh, on recommendation from Mr. George Eaton, big up. Um, so yeah, gonna go grab some lunch and then I can't believe it's only, it's only like 12 o'clock. We've been awake for a long time, so lots of the afternoon to find some activities. Let's get it. everywhere in the world have a sweet green. That would fix world obesity. Back at the uh, Ritz. Just finished eating. Gonna have a little um, chill back in the room. Sammy's gonna chop up some fire content of the training session we've just done. Let our food go down and then we're gonna Google best things to do in Santa Monica for the afternoon. See you in a second. So, we've decided our afternoon activity is a little hike in the Santa Monica Mountains. We're gonna try it, Los Leones, Los Lioness hike. It's two hours long, I think three miles. We're just waiting for an Uber now. That's our afternoon of activities. And then, we need to get a fucking steak tonight. I'm desperate for a steak. Although we'll probably end up back in that Asian bowl place. Because <laughs> we'll get starved, I'll get starved while we're hiking. Won't be bothered to get changed and we'll end up in there. Oh well. Leones. Leones. This afternoon's activities. It's quite hot. Uh, we've had a good day so far. I've got an early morning running. We've uh, trained, eaten some good food, and now we're going to hike. It's been a big day of uh, energy expenditure. But there's something very peaceful and good for the soul about sunshine, being by the beach, and hiking through the beautiful mountainside. And luckily, Sam behind the camera is very interested in the sem similar things that I am, so this is a match made in heaven. Let's enjoy a little hike. Let's go. Let's go. Have a look or East Topanga Fire Road. Sweet. character on that. <laughs> 173 so you know wow. it gets uh, it gets harder. Hence why I asked where the finish line is because <laughs> how much further is there to go? Really you're, you've broken the back of it. We are 4k's 55 minutes into this hike we just met an awesome bloke called Martin. 40, 40 years he's been here in the United States. An actor from Britain. Anywho um, very scenic. We don't quite know where the finish line is so we're just going to keep walking. Uh, I think there's like a bench somewhere that apparently signifies the end of this next trail. Hopefully it's not too far away because we've still got to walk home, but it's beautiful. The sun is shining. We're getting tanned. Yeah, lovely.
down we are now 10k and two hours eight minutes into this hike but uh, you probably saw the views at the top just now stunning views back over Santa Monica and the rest of LA um, I'm getting rather hungry so we need to get down get back to town and get some food inside us before I get too hangry let's get it Lost Leonis Canyon, done. Two hours 29, nice and casual. Well done, Sammy boy. Hiking in the LA Hills. Who made that? Now there's an experience. <sighs> Back to Santa Monica. 12.4 Ks that was. I've done 42,000 steps so far today. <laughs> My fucking little legs. Don't get the coughs. So we've been back to the hotel, quick shower, change, and now we're down in um, Warren Third Street Promenade, but we're going to a steakhouse called Boa Steakhouse. It comes on good recommendation um, by one of my good friends. I'm desperate for a steak. Sammy scrubbed up well, he's got a gorgeous gold chain on, I wish you could see him. And I'm rocking represent head to toe. Got to represent. I could do with an iron though, but I don't have one. So, dinner done and dusted. That was a very, very good steak. Boa Steakhouse, Santa Monica, would definitely recommend. Sam actually said it's the best meal he's ever had. So, um, success all round. It's been a big, big day. It's 10 to nine. I'm desperate for some sleep. So, vlog, officially day two, but day one on the vlog, done.